Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda Let's Play. Now, we have a little bit of a situation, guys. I advertise this as the gay romance edition. <laughs> and um, I fully intended on romancing this guy over here, Gil. Right. Devil's advocate, okay? Go for it. With the cat entrenched here and things as they are, Maybe we should focus our efforts on leaving this cluster. You mean quit, run away? Well, we came to find a new home, not a new enemy, right? We knew this was a possible scenario, and we took the jump anyway. What she said. Yeah, so fully intended on romance and kill, but I might have missed my window, and I'm not backtracking, unfortunately, so uh, that means that there's only two other options. Now, for all you Jal fans, there's no way it's happening. I'm not romancing Jal, I'm sorry. So I guess we're romancing Reyes unless I can convince Gil to give me a second chance. I really want to romance him. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon ship? Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. Now, tell me you have a better plan of escape this go around. Of course. I've got it all under control. How naive do I look? Just stay out of the skirt, huh? Damn it! <laughs> good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. <laughs> this is not good. I, I think I totally effed up. It said in, like, I was reading How to Romance Gil, and it's like, you can't possibly mess it up. If you've messed it up, you're doing something wrong. And I've messed it up. It said that he's supposed to have a flirt option after every major mission. So uh, there's still more major missions in the game, but I don't see any romance. If you guys have romance skill later in the game, please let me know how to do it because I've totally messed it up. Hey. Oh, never mind. Goodbye. We can talk more later. Sure. Sure. Yep. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, goodbye. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I guess that only means one like option and. It's a character that I've never even met, so I don't even know if I want to like him. So it's disappointing. That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder and making sure we're ready for a fight. Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belinza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her and then prayed for her. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. All right. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go up this ladder here and talk to Vetra and PB and Lexi. I don't think that there's going to be any new cinematics, but you know what? Just in case, it's always a good idea to talk to them, right? Vetra, what's up? I thought I hated the cat before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whenever my dad did, destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. 
We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Oh, that's cute. See, I would have potentially missed that uh, if I hadn't talked to her. Where is PB? Is PB in her escape pod? She is. Hold on. So where's Lexi? Hold on. So wait, who's this? Cora. Uh, Liam. Lexi. Oh, so Lexi's back in her base. I wonder if I could. Okay, hold on. I think I have to go talk to everybody. I think I missed some people. <laughs> My bad. I know I've just talked to Liam, obviously, so I don't need to talk to him again. Cora I spoke to just now, so I think Jal, Sam, and Lexi are here. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jal to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jal, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are kept. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jal needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise. But you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing crafted evolution it's horrible of course but also fascinating glad you're settling in sink or swim right <sighs> i should probably clean this up before it starts to smell oh i see i totally would have missed that cinematic i just missed so many okay let's go talk to uh oh is there emails Oh my god, I got emails. Can we talk on camera? Carrie, yes! The things I'm hearing, a garden world, a whole new species. If you can talk on the record, you know where to find me. I love it and I'm totally coming. Totally coming. Okay, uh, messages to the Nexus. Okay, so Ryder, I've been reviewing all the messages you forwarded from the Angaran populace. It's encouraging to see that even in these initial phases of contact, we have supporters among them, though it's equally clear we have our work cut out for us and winning over the rest. But I'm confident you're on the right track. I would have been surprised if the Angara hadn't expressed skepticism. First contact is a compli complicated situation, and if roles were reversed, I'd be suspicious of them if they arrived on our doorstep. Thank you for passing these messages along. They'll provide invaluable insight as we navigate these tricky waters. Director 10. Awesome. Thanks for listening. Nuff said. <laughs> Update on Jal. Ryder. Though you should know I spoke to Jal, after some reflection, he seems to accept that the process of exaltation cannot be reversed. I apologize if I was harsh before. I can get a little passionate when it comes to patience and my professional opinion. I know you are only trying to help, and ultimately, we both just want what's best for the Tempest crew. I will continue to run tests and study the data you obtained from the Ket facility regarding exaltation, but right now, I must believe what the evidence tells me, which is exaltation is permanent. Communication from Jal. Ryda, the Moshai sent news from Aya, and she asked me to share with you. <laughs> this is a horrible accent. Under the, her guidance, officials are again allowing study of the Aya vault. It comes with a great risk, of course. She, so she's restricting participation to her brightest students under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the remnant, she wants to be ready to assist you however she can once Meridian is found. These are interesting and exciting times. Great! Okay, Sam. Hello, Ryder. Oh, Huma. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Threshermores eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I think that's hilarious. I think it's hilarious. And look, we got another example. Like, sip, uh, ship, sip, sip, ship. 
simple figurine, whatever. Okay, Jal's in here, right? Is he not able to talk to me? So that That's looks cool. good to you. As if any of you want me to pass the fucking test. Mm. You lost me. Picture your favorite food. Now picture it in a bucket and find a bomb. Would you still eat it? Do all humans try to ruin everything? <laughs> or just you? <laughs> okay, uh, nope, nothing here. Okay, Jal? I don't think he has anything to say. Yaksul is very cunning. Oh, I'm We I... can't underestimate him. <clears throat> My mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers, thrilled and seduced. But it didn't work out? My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where's Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Well, enough about that. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos, so our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything, but that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life. At my age, I hope being here will inspire me. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the cat. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, Jal. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless, yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. Okay. See you later. All right. So I lied. Apparently, I'm getting a lot of new stuff, which is cool. You know, get get a lot more information. Okay. And also, I need to speak to Suvi. I think that's it, right? Just Suvi, Suvi, Kahlo, Sam. I spoke to. Yeah, I spoke to all those people. Oh. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's just the main mission. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, uh, galaxy map, da da, da sand. wait a minute, wait a minute. There, yeah, yeah, this, those three. Drac and Gil, I already spoke to. Okay. I'm so upset about Gil. That was really stupid. Should have flirted with him when I had the chance. Oh, come on, think, think. I need something. Who are you talking to? Ryder, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. I don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! Chill out. You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. You're willing to share? I won't cramp your style? Let's find out. All right, I'm in. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. <laughs> Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? You haven't taken the bait yet, but I'm not afraid of rejection. Wanna fool around? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. <laughs> Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. Uh, I would say no thanks. I don't think so, PB. That's fine. Say no more. Uh, let's just enjoy this. I hope this is enough. Hey, don't you know what say no more means? Really, I mean it. No explanation necessary. Just thank you for this. That's hilarious. I'm sorry, PB. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. I just advertised this as a gay one. If I honestly, if I could choose to do a straight one, she would be the one I'd do it with. I swear. She's wonderful. Okay, who am I switching it out? Who am I switching out? Uh, definitely switching both these people. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, uh, um, you know, I think Vetra could be good because, like, she was there during the uprising, and also, I'm gonna go with PB. Yeah. I guess they're my favorites. I don't really care about rotating it evenly, I guess. I, I usually do. You, did. you can't just undo ten hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks. Something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Kalo. I know, just please don't let this distract you. Um, they, I don't, they don't really don't like each other. Suvi, what's going Liam on? Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. I will definitely do it. I am so excited about it. Okay, let's go. All right, so now obviously we have a lot to do. Uh, we have a lot to do. I don't know if I want to do the priority op. Yeah, I know I'm really annoying. 
Tempest. Okay, so on Aya. Oh, okay. That's super easy. That's super easy. So Aya, we have uh, investigate the missing satellite nav point, search fold. Uh, yeah, I feel like investigate the first meeting satellite nav point. Where is that? Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, okay. But also, I kind of want to go back to the Nexus. Uh, I, you know, so you know what? I've decided we're going to go back to the Nexus. I know. I've already been there before. But, you know, I feel like it's time to go back. You know, I like I'm to check in. Something. Oh, 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 we're picking up something. Oh. Oh, we got something. Anomaly found. Okay, what is the anomaly? Oh, it's a scourge. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. Okay, sounds good to me. No more here. Okay, cool. All right, Nexus, let's go. Look at that scourge. Oh, we almost hit it. Okay, docking bay. We're gonna go talk to Carrie. And that's basically it. I feel like I'll talk to everybody a little bit, but like there's not gonna be much to happen, but that's okay. You know, just wanna make sure I pick up all the missions. And then in the next part, we're gonna start whatever it is that we're supposed to start on that planet. You know what I'm saying? You got me? You get me? Cool. All right, here we go. Going on the Nexus. Okay, Carrie. Oh. You're on an exploration mission. I saw it was very clear that this wasn't a military operation. You, you're the Pathfinder. Thank you so much for returning the Moshai to us. Uh, yeah. I'm glad I could help. Seems your people really cherish her. She is dear to us. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural center. He'd be honored to speak with you. Oh, okay. Wait, is that a cultural ex exchange? Is that where, is that, is that it? And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navarre. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. Everything you see, we're willing to share. Knowledge, technology, support. What's the price? Whatever you're willing to give. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa Sepjav Teravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, I wonder if I can check in with these scientists. Oh, I know there's uh -huh. AVP outstanding in there. Horizontal gene transfer. The Research Center, I don't really care about that. Is there AVP? Dang it. 
something. I forgot about that, but I actually, it's on the other station. That's right. Oh, there she is. I just wanted to talk to you to see if you could say hey. You can't. Okay. Cool. I mean, I totally missed that conversation, but who cares? All right, let's go. We're going to go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some question marks here. These power outages make no sense. I already fixed your power outages. Hold on. What are the question marks? There were question marks. I uh, Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I don't really know why there was question marks there. But we'll just go with it. Okay, so I'm going to hold on one second. Journal, turn take just come off of it. Okay, come off of it. Okay, thank you. All right, what is is it just Liam drinking in here again? Has he dragged Draken? No. Okay, good. The flag Liam. Tevudi. Let's hear it. Shucks. I can't hear anything. They're too, speaking too quietly. Oh, whatever. Guess I'm going out. Looks like Liam hasn't dragged anybody else into his clubbing. All right, so I thought Gil might be in there for another decade cards, but damn it. I have to figure out a way to get him back <laughs> to be interested again. Okay, so we're going to go to... Oh, isn't there another memory? <gasps> I am so pumped. I forgot about this memory thing. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the family memory is. Wait, I haven't seen it, right? Oh, no, I did see it. I did see it. I'm so stupid. There's Have no memory. Have you ever been trapped with nothing but your own thoughts to keep you company? It's excruciating. I do not experience psychological distress, as you describe it. Do you experience any emotions? No, and I am intrigued as to why you do. You find me intriguing. <laughs> Welcome back, Ryder. Yeah, oops. I forgot. That's all for now. Of course. Yeah, I already found the memory. My liberator. Welcome. Oh, okay, goodbye. Thanks for your time. All right, bye. Damn it, I can't believe I forgot that I didn't already watch that stupid memory. Yeah, it was the one where I had to find out about Gian Garson. Duh. So silly, so silly. Ah, that's a shucks. That's a shucks moment right there. Okay, well, I am going to... Go to the operations, do my AVP. Okay, let's go over to here. I got my strike team missions. Okay, yeah. It's successful. Ah, oh, fail. Successful. Okay. Oh. Well, it looks like I think I should send the best team because they're only 33% chance that it's a gold mission. Okay, uh, oh, this one. Send a strike team mission. At 92. Oh, 70% chance. That's not so bad. No, that's on you. And this one. Yeah, it's going to be a horrible mess. 8% chance. Yeah, there's no way that that's getting through. But it's okay. The boss wants to certify without All right. Oh, do I need to talk to you? No news on the Turian arc yet. Okay, so I need to go to AVP and then also speak to little Kara. Where's Carrie? She gonna be in a different place every time. Interesting. Oh, I don't have any AVP outstanding. Oh, I have missions to collect though. Collect all rewards. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Where is Carrie? Where is Carrie? Tivessa, right? T Vessa. All right. I don't know. I have to talk to Addison. Oh, I wonder if she's in here. Oh no. Hey, hey, Cora. Okay, what's up, Tan? Nope, nothing. Goodbye. That's all. Great. Okay, where is Carrie Tavessa? That's what I want to do. I want to end the part with Carrie. Can I fix this already? Like, can you not, like, keep going? Like, dude. It's really annoying. It's an annoying sound. Okay, I got to find Carrie. Okay, I don't know where she is. Okay, so I'm going to have to go to journal. Is it additional tasks? No. No, is it? Path of a hero. It is. There we go. Okay, where is she? Map. Oh, is she on she's on this side? I swear I was there. She's somewhere here. Hold on. Oh, she's 
She's in the middle. Um, is she above me? Did I like walk right by her when I went to go to the AVP and then toss to talk to Addison? What the actual heck? I have no idea where this girl is. Carrie, where are you? Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. That's so sad. That's so sad. I'll log off. Okay, so Carrie is like playing. Oh, wait, maybe she's down here. Maybe she's down here. Oh my gosh, she's. She, oh my gosh, she's at the docking bay. No wonder. I don't know what to say, guys. You know, it's been a long day. You know, actually. In the last part, Liam was working out and I got really jealous. So I turned off my game and I worked out and I did a crazy hard workout and now I'm really tired. So maybe that's what it is. All right. Hello. Hi, Carrie. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara are survivors and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. If the Angara say yes, I don't see why not. I wonder who gets to make that call. The Angara don't have much of a government left. Okay, that's... Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Tan sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? Thank you. Okay, um, that's all. So I guess that's it for this part. Now we're gonna go to that other planet. Ah! All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next part when we tackle the next major mission. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye for now.